some metallic minerals, primarily those containing iron, are quite magnetic. This is due to the arrangement of metallic bonds in some iron minerals. And recall in the last episode where I mentioned ionic, covalent, and metallic bonds. Here I have mineral magnetite. And it's called magnetite for obvious reasons, because it's magnetic. Um, and it's from my personal collection. It is one of the most common magnetic minerals. And I also have a magnet. You see the North Pole, South Pole. You know, so I have a magnet here. And it's pretty straightforward, really. Like, you know, you can lift bits of the magnetite with our magnet. So like that. Like that. Oh, oh. It's kind of fun to play around with. But in Jamaica... There are a couple of beaches in which the sand is quite magnetic. For example, Farquhar's Beach in Clarendon, um, which is a little bit south of Milk River, Milk River Mineral Bath. And then there is Alligator Pond at the border of Manchester and St. Elizabeth. And the reason the sand there is magnetic is because of the mineral magnetic. So in the structure, you have titanomagnetite and titanohematite in the sand just like these bits of rock that I have in front of me and that's it <laughs>